Yeah, I want to get into a couple of well tips, and actually I'm going to get into a little something I learned just about the well bladder itself, how to keep the well from kicking over so many times. What you're looking at, though, here is the pressure regulator switch. And I knew about this deal. A lot of times there's these little, well, depends on what you have, but this is pretty common. You got these little points in here, and a lot of times they need to be cleaned. And what you do is you just put some emery paper in between these points, and you slide it up and down. Well, just like so, like say I had the emery paper in here, and uh, you're sliding it up and down, and you clean the points just like on a car. And when these points close up, the motor should run, right? Uh, this one is a uh, three-wire, 230-volt half horse. It's not a really big one, I guess. And this is the control box. This happened to be my problem. I was lucky, so I didn't have to. The motor, the pump, didn't have to be pulled. Um, there's a capacitor and a relay. This is usually about 60 bucks or something like that. And when you close this up, these con you know, as soon as you open this up, this box, everything's disconnected. Um, you know, I was cleaning all this off and I changed out the regulator yesterday and the pump didn't, still didn't pump. It turned out to be this, to be the problem. But um, I want to actually show you a little trick on something I, I did not know that could make the pump last a lot longer on the well. Well here's a little trick I did not know. Uh, what you want to do is turn the power off to the pump, turn off the well, then open it up and you know let you know let all the water drain out of it. And then up here on his bladder there's an air pressure valve. And what you want to do is there should be in other words, this is air that's on the outside of the bladder. The bladder, there's a rubber bladder in here that fills up with water. If, if when the water drains out of here, this should have 38 pounds of pressure, of air pressure pushing this way on the bladder. This way on the bladder from the outside in. If it doesn't, you need to get an air compressor and fill this up and use up to 38 pounds and use a regular tire gauge and that puts more pressure on the bladder where it collapses it 38 pounds and then when the pump runs the bladder fills up all the way it fills up all the way and then it it'll um, collapse all the way and then that causes the motor not to kick over as much times which is really why the motors burn out it's the number of times they kick over they keep kicking over many if they run continuously they last a gazillion years as a matter of fact if you're sprinkling your lawn and you're using one hose and the well is kicking over over off and on off and on that's actually bad for the pump if you're using three hoses to water the lawn and the well has to be constantly running it actually will last extremely lot longer much much longer now this thing actually has a um, disconnect on it for electricity, I just want to point this out, where I can run my generator on it, and um, you know, so if I were, you know, had no power, and you, you know, the sky fell or whatever, I can actually get water out of here. Now, uh, I changed this out yesterday, because I had a new one, and I figured I'd change it out, and to get these off, again, you use some heat, use the uh, propane, and uh, you heat this up so and you put some Teflon tape and that's where your water comes up into your pressure regulator switch this is the same thing I was showing with the points but I changed that out and here's the new uh, control box that's on there now if I ever have to pull the pump this well is only 77 feet deep but there's um, 21 foot lengths of pipe that's exactly what I've been told and uh, what I got a problem here is all these trees what I'd have to do if I was going to do this myself um, well if the truck was going to get back here I'd have to trim all these trees all the way back to 42 feet height they'd have to be clear all the way and um, but I I'm going to actually learn how to do this myself because you can put if you make a 21 foot scaffolding or like a you know something where you could put a pulley on the top or 22 feet high you will get out the four lengths of pipe because this will be about it'll be 84 feet this is a 77 foot well i think it is it's but to be four lengths of pipe in there 
and you'll be able to pull out each section because you have to go up 21 feet when there's trees up here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually build some scaffolding because it's 1600 bucks to change the pump out plus I'd have to take all the fencing out I'd have to either have somebody or me chop all these trees back and if I did this myself you can get the pump itself for 155 bucks so what I might do is get an extra pump and uh, build up the scaffolding and uh, actually have it because that's just how I am man I just do everything on my own man everything everything so uh, but he also said you never take off <laughs> these four bolts there's four bolts up here one two there's two on the other side you never take that off if you take that off kiss it goodbye so if you're an amateur and you go taking this apart you never take off these four bolts that's what he said so I don't know what the hell he's talking about exactly but uh, I just wanted to pass on manually this tip about this bladder because I didn't know that you're supposed to do this every year you turn off the electricity you drain the water out you check this air it should be 38 pounds of pressure pushing on the side air pressure from the tank to the rubber bladder on the inside collapsing it if it doesn't have 38 pounds you put 38 pounds in it with an air compressor and then you'll have much better water pressure so uh, and you notice my pressure is pretty good it's over 50 pounds so that's what you want it you want it between 40 and 60 and uh, anyway just figured I'd pass that tip on because if you're using the well um, a lot also again I'm repeating myself but if you're using the well to water the grass a lot you want to use like three hoses or something to keep the well running constant it's the fact that it kicks off and on off and on off and on like if the splatter breaks or something um, that will be a problem the other thing is by maintaining this bladder the bladder can last 30 years I didn't notice I didn't notice I know a lot of maintenance stuff I know a lot of car stuff I don't know nothing about wells and uh, I changed this out last night and we're all cooking again I was out there working on a Jeep and I was like last night and I'm like hey, the water don't work but um, uh, I'm gonna learn how to do this damn stuff too so what the hell you know that's my style <laughs>